Well, today we love supporting our hometown athletes, of course, and we have our very own UFC fighter, Ryan Bader, here in studio. Yeah, he's here to talk about this upcoming fight. Not here to fight Brandon, I don't think. Uh, we remember what happened the last bit. time you two got together, Brandon. I mean, look at this. I got a bloody <laughs> nose because of this guy. He's oh, no joke. Oh. You can see that, right? I'm not crying, though. It's you all right. You got a little better. You, you don't rub it, right? Something. No, just don't let, touch let it. it bleed. Let just it let it bleed. bleed. Yeah. Ryan Bader. How you doing? Great to see you. Now, do you Glad remember last time oh, yeah. I interviewed? What yeah. happened? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, you got choked a little bit. And I Check this out. Leg kicked. Check this out. We've got some video of this. So I asked Ryan Bader to face off with me. Decided to do a little choke hold. Now, that was no joke. My throat hurt for like a week after that. And then here's the the punch right here. Watch this. Here we go. Facing off with Ryan Bader. Nothing. Ain't nothing. Bam! Ooh. Knocked me straight you down. Took it well. I took it well. Thank you. I appreciate you that. remember it. Slow motion. All right, Ryan. So last year you battled a bit of an injury, yep. but now you're ready to come back. Tell me about this injury that you had. Yeah, so my last fight was in December. My first hand injury. I've had about 20 fights. I broke my hand in the first round and had to fight through it. I ended up getting the win. I was down in Australia. I had to fly back the 20 hour travel time Jeez. all the way back to Arizona. Um, you know, with that bro broken hand and got it fixed up. Um, it's feeling good now. Uh, totally 100% healthy. Been training hard and ready for this fight coming up on June 14th. So, UFC 174 in Vancouver. Tell me about this matchup. So, I'm fighting a guy, uh, Rafael Cavalcante, his name is. Uh, nickname is Fei Zhao. Meaning beans, I don't know. <laughs> beans? You know, what? Whatever that is. But uh, a tough guy. He's a Strike Force champion for UFC acquired Strike Force. Uh, he's very dynamic, hard hitter, good at jiu jitsu. Uh, so I have a fight you know, on my hands, and uh, it's a fight I like because it's going to catapult me just even more up there in the rankings. Absolutely. And hopefully, get a title shot. So I know you train differently for each fighter yep. because each fighter has different. We lost our shot. Oh, no. You can probably find another camera. Yeah, turn the camera around. around. Bring that camera over here. Yeah. Camera two. We, Swing it around. We're going to keep this going. <laughs> we lost another camera. Come on, guys. Here. Bring it over. We can do All this. Because right. we got here more we to go. talk about with Ryan Bader. Here we okay. go. This is live TV right here. It is. It's it's live. Okay. This is what happens. Improvise. <laughs> Our camera got knocked out. Yes. And now we're going to turn on another camera. <laughs> Fire it up. Bam! Go. Look at that. The there magic of TV. Boom. All right, so you prepare differently for each fighter. Yeah. But I want to talk about your place, Power MMA and Fitness. Yep. Tell me about this place, and is this somewhere where anybody can come in and Yeah, train? absolutely. We're in Gilbert. We're a 27,000 square foot facility. Uh, half of it is a uh, fitness gym. The other half, we have the mats, we have the cage, the bags. Uh, and so we have anywhere from a four year old girl going in there doing jujitsu up to a 70 year old man. Doing boxing. Really? There's no egos. That's a big thing about a misconception about MMA gyms. It's going to be people in there trying to beat you up. Right. You know, we're, we have classes, we have uh, body transformation classes, uh, everything down the line jiu jitsu, wrestling, Muay Thai, uh, and strength training. So uh, we wanted to make a place that was kind of unique, all under one roof. And uh, the kind of cool thing is, too, while you run on the treadmill, you can watch UFC fighters oh, train cool. and spar for their fights coming up. That's so, awesome. Uh, yeah, good, good little place. And going. you know that's the best workout of your life. Ryan oh, yeah, Bader, absolutely. thank you so much. Best of luck thank in UFC 174. So, again, that is June 14th in Vancouver on pay per view. Watch him take his opponent down. And again, powermmafitness.com. If you want the best workout of your life, look like this guy. You got to check it out.